Hello everyone, and welcome back to WolfQuest 2.7.2. We're here with Usagi, the current heiress to the Starry Skies pack, and she has just spent a very long night wandering around the open plains. So we bumped into our very first wolf pack. Usagi managed to meet with the plains, grassy plains wolf pack. It didn't really go so great. She has enough experience that hopefully we'll be able to find her a mate pretty soon. In fact, we should be clear. Yep, 930 experience. She should be able to find a wonderful mate and move on to the creek area and start preparing for her winter litter pretty soon here or at least our winter litter since she's going to have the Christmas litter this year. It's really really fun to know that we're back once again that we've actually made a tradition of a Christmas litter of wolves in Wolf Quest so that's really fun but she ran over to the grass plains we were looking for a mate she ran into a dark black female instead. Coyote! All right maybe we'll chase the coyote for just a second. All right, let's give it a couple little nips. We'll see. She doesn't have the most strength, but she can take out a coyote without too much trouble. All right, and that should have given us, yep, a little bit of experience. Sorry, coyote, it is just the way of the wilds and the world. And then a lot of you guys have said that we should find a bear for her to sniff if I move up here. And also that there may even be a fossil out and about that you can see on Fossil Ridge. Oh wow, I think I heard the birds. <gasps> Look, there's the little there's the little pond. So let's come up over here and see if there's anything. I can hear so many birds that were scaring out of the sagebrush. Do you hear that? Oh, look at him go. That is so cool. That is so cool. All right, let's go ahead and wander on this way. All those little birdos are over here. We can get a little bit of a drink right here and kind of glance across the pond. I see a bunch of little insects moving across the pond. That's new, but I don't see any bears. But Usagi's mission for the Amethyst Mountain level is to try to go ahead and find one of each of the creatures that currently live here. Not including the moose. The moose has not yet been added in to the updates, but we're still looking for a cougar. We're still looking for a bear and we still need to introduce ourselves. Oh no, we're stuck in a hole. We still, no, stuck again. Oh, this is a really cute little flower. I'll have to remember that in the future. Maybe we can use this flower as like a future mission objective to maybe to heal our puppies or do something fun like that. But Usagi still needs to introduce herself to the Vista and the Amethyst Mountain Packs as well so she can learn their sense and learn a little bit of respect for, oh, I think it's the High Ridge. That's right. So we're at the wrong lake. We'll go over to the High Ridge and see if we can bump into a bear over there. But she needs to learn their sense so that we can complete her mission. Being a curious wolf, she wants to meet all of the creatures that live on the mountain. We've already found the bunnies. We've already found the elk. We've already found a lot of foxes and coyotes. Uh, and a lot of hares too. Oh my gosh, there's a fox. That's so cool. <laughs> there's another fox so we can chase the fox for a minute, but we never catch him. So it's more, oh my gosh, wait, can we actually catch him? I don't normally get close enough. Oh my goodness. <gasps> no way, Usagi. I don't know. Is she actually going to outrun this fox? <gasps> okay, I'm sorry. I know that was a little violent, but Usagi actually took out the fox. Oh my gosh. She's a lot faster than I thought she was. The only time I've ever been able to take a fox out before is if I managed to corner it inside of the Lost Valley or the Lost River. Wow. Okay, well, I'm sorry, guys. That's just the way that predators sometimes behave. Um, we'll try to pretend that she just, like, chased it away instead because we can't eat off of it. So it makes sense that we would say that she just chases the other predators away to gain a bit of experience. We're going to pretend the fox is just resting. Let's move on now. Oh, bunny! Oh my gosh! This area is a lot more fruitful than I thought! Holy days! I need to wander up along the, the ridge more often! We normally stick in the forest. This is cool. Alright, so we've found a bunny, and Usagi's uh, special perk is that every time we find a rabbit, we roll a dice. Ooh, oh man, it's a five! We roll a dice and we see how many bunnies feet we're able to collect up from the rabbit and if we get four bunny feet total, including the ones that we've collected from before, then we get an ancestor blessing. That's why Usagi currently has one ancestor blessing. But with rolling the dice, if I roll a five, then we actually don't get any. There's the chance of having zero. Uh, zero bunny feet from that. Zero lucky rabbit's feet. If we roll a six, then we actually get to roll again, but darn. So she didn't collect any bunny sweet from that, but that's okay. All right, anyway, you guys know by now what her missions are and what, oh, there's the bear. Thank you, thank you so much to the person who told me this is where we can find a bear. Is it really running from us? Oh my gosh. 
we're just gonna get it sent. We're just kind of gonna creep up on it and we're gonna just get it sent for a second. We don't really want to fight it. We're not a bear fighter like her father, Kuma. He was the bear butt biter. Okay, maybe we'll give the bear one little butt bite just for just for the sake of the pack's uh, the pack's reputation. Move Usagi, just for the sake of the pack's reputation. And she's gonna need to know there. Just one nibble, one nibble. That's all I wanted to do, Grizzly Bear. He he didn't even flinch. I don't even think it didn't. He didn't even do any damage. <laughs> Usagi, you're a hopeless bear butt biter. That didn't do anything. But you guys, now we can check off bear as one of the creatures that she has run into. So the only other creature we are missing is running into a cougar and then checking in on the other two wolf packs. So that's pretty fascinating. All right, let's go up to the Vista pack now that we have found the bear. We'll stop here to maybe get a quick drink and, and watch the bear walk off into the distance. But we'll go ahead and check the Vista pack now. But anyway, you guys know by now about Usagi's perks and her faults. Um, oh, I guess if we see the cougar, we have to fight the cougar, don't we? Ooh, I didn't think that through. And then we also need to figure out uh, if we're going to start doing missions for each level, not to mention the challenges that each wolf just has inherently for their entire life. Um, we need to start thinking about what the rewards for the missions would be. And I really, 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 really love the conversations you guys are starting to have down in the comment section about different special skills and perks that the wolves could actually gain. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's wiggle through the sagebrush. But different skills and special perks that the wolves could gain instead of just um, having like ancestor blessings be their reward for completing missions. I really like that idea. Like maybe immunity to coyotes uh, could be one of the things or maybe it could be immunity to cougars or uh, it could be big eater so maybe if a, a pup dies of hunger then we could say oh they're a big eater so they actually they actually hung in there and they could get like the opportunity not to die from hunger that's a little overpowered but you know what i mean we're thinking up some good examples so i love seeing that because wolf quest really would not be what it is and i say this every single time but i mean it without you guys and your suggestions for challenges and your suggestions for all sorts of special skills and abilities and twists and turns in our stories and the way we use the random generators and a dice just this beautiful dice in fact i feel like i should have like a very very fancy dice that i use for wolf quest from now on now that i think about it it because it determines so much of our story <gasps> another lucky rabbit's foot yes please okay speaking of the dice i'm going to roll it right now did we get any rabbit's feet we got one rabbit's foot but guess what you guys we had three rabbit's feet from before that we hadn't used up yet so dun dun, dun. we now have and i'll wrap those up yep and now we have two ancestor blessings so that's wonderful good job usagi maybe that's a good sign that we'll we'll meet a potential wolf mate if I continue heading up to the Vista. So bye, bunny. All right, so we got one lucky rabbit's foot off of it, and that made a total of four extra rabbit's feet. Don't worry, I'm keeping track of things on a piece of paper. And in the future, I might start keeping track of things in the comments below too, and penning the comments so you guys can follow along and not get too confused about like, how many rabbit's feet does Usagi have left? Uh, and little details like that. I'll try to leave like the summary. It'll be a bit of a spoiler, so be sure you're aware of spoilers. Uh, down in the comments. All right. But yeah, like I was saying, you guys really have made... Oh, we're inside the wolf territory. Okay. <gasps> oh, we're right in front of a wolf. Okay. Let's creep up. Oh, look at the butterfly. Oh, I just can't believe how much has changed in a year with all of the updates and everything new that has been added in. All right, you guys. Let's go see if this is a friendly encounter. If there's a neutral encounter... Or if this is an aggressive encounter, and if this is a potential dispersal wolf. Ooh, oh, he's so handsome. He, he, it's a dispersal mill. Yes, okay. All right, you guys, is this going to be her mate? He's a very handsome wolf, actually. Yes, and it can be a friendly encounter. You guys, I think this is going to be Usagi's mate. Look at him, his gorgeous golden eyes, beautiful fur. I think she's quite smitten with him. So he's not sure about this. So let's go, hello there. All right, we've got this, we've got this. Uh, let's try, I like you. Is that a little too forward? Or is that gonna be okay? What do you think, buddy? Oh, he's so handsome. I don't think we've ever had a mate like that. Ooh, you know what I would really love to see in the updates? Even more wolf patterns, that would be so cool. All right, let's play. 
Come on, what are we gonna name you? I'm gonna have to see. Oh, look at him go, you guys! And I do have a list of some of your suggested wolves. A lot of, a lot of you guys know in the past what we used to do. I think it needed to be... Let's start a pack and not let's play, but let's see what happens. But what we used... No, don't go away! Uh, let's hang out. Let's be friends. Uh, this one? Oh, dang it! Oh, gosh darn! Don't go away! I don't remember don't go away. Why do I always... I'm not very good at flirting as a wolf. I really am not. <laughs> but what we used to do is you guys could submit your wolves, if it was a male or female, as a potential mate. And then what I do is I try to look through all of the wolf submissions, use a random generator, and then let the random generator pick one. And that becomes the wolf that we use as a potential mate. So we'll have to see what the random generator says for these guys. Um, I think it's Let's Play again? Maybe? Please? Yes! Oh, thank goodness. Now it's going to be, let's start a pack. Okay. I'm so bad at flirting as a wolf. Let's start a pack. What do you think about that, buddy? I think it would go over quite well. He's really handsome. I don't know if we've ever had a mate that looks like this. Did Nightlight look like this? What do you guys think? I really would love to see even more wolf patterns, too. That would be so much fun. Uh, let's start a pack. All right. What do you think about that, buddy? And... Yes! Okay! I think it's gonna be good! Good to go! Good to go! These two should probably sync up together as two dispersal wolves. Alright, one second, you guys. Oh my goodness, then we found the perfect wolf. So I used the random generator to look through the list of wolves submitted months ago that you guys left me. And I found the first one that matched the description of what this guy looks like. So from Ashley Romeve, we have a king. And he's actually perfect for this because king is a white and black wolf with a big build. Definitely fits the description of this guy. He's very confident, sly, and grateful for what he has. So it sounds like he's actually a very uh, humble wolf who is confident and that'll be a really great match for curious playful Usagi who tends to be a little bit forgetful so he can probably help balance her out and then he is his his birthplace and history is this Vista so he's actually from here Ashley says he's the strongest of his litter and the only one that has survived so he's probably going to be very very attached to the puppies we're going to have <gasps> you guys and we've got him! We've got him! So we have a Vista Wolf! Oh wow! I don't think we've had too many Vista mates. Usually we always find our mate up at the Amethyst Mountain. So Usagi is already- Oh look at the little goldfinch! It's flying around! Oh that's so cute! Usagi is already proving herself with all sorts of uh, new behaviors. Let's play bow at our new mate. There we go. Oh, he's so handsome. I can't wait to see what their puppies are going to look like. The brown that started to come in with the last couple of generations mixed with that beautiful black and white coat. Oh, this is going to be awesome. So welcome to King. So Usagi and King, which is kind of cracking me up because it feels sort of like uh, Damien and Usagi <laughs> from Solar Moon now. Let's go show him. Oh, there you are, buddy. Let's go ahead and we will show him where we had our rabbit. I'm pretty sure we left our rabbit somewhere this this direction. Yeah, look, it's over here. So let's go show him. Look at how fast he is. Holy moly. What yummy, yummy rabbit feet taste like. Oh, geez. Coyote, run for it. We'll let you live this time. I think that coyote would have scuttled out of here in record time. Yeah, we have our little rabbit down here. So let's go eat our rabbit with uh, King here. And then really, we only have one more thing that we have to do on the mountain before moving on, and that is possibly find a cougar. So we might sniff around for one more day to see if we can stumble on a cougar. Here you go, King. It's delicious, delicious bunnies. Delicious rabbit feet. Whoa. That was interesting. But let's go down and we also need to introduce ourselves to the wolves up at the top of Amethyst Mountain just to make sure that Usagi has kind of covered all of her bases and we'll also try- Oh, what? What? I've not really ever seen them land and fly like that before. Wow. Those ravens are fascinating. All right. Oh, and there's another lucky rabbit's foot right down here. Where is it? Right over here. I forgot we left this one down here too. So King's doing okay. So we might try hunting with him as well. Maybe we'll try hunting really quickly. We'll see if we stumble on any elk just real fast. And we'll sort of check by all of the carcasses to see if we find any cougars. Elk? We're in their territory. 
And there's King. Oh man, he is so handsome. This is gonna be really fantastic. Now that we finally have a new mate for Usagi. I think that as playful as she is, we'll have to figure out if when we have the missions, we are going to really force a wolf to follow through on the mission or if we'll just move on. Because I know a lot of you guys are ready to see some puppies and I'm really curious about their first litter as well. So we might move them on. Oh, there's, there's the elk. Let's do one bit of hunting. Oh, we're in the wrong, we're in the wrong direction if we're gonna do some proper hunting. Let's try one hunt with King to see how this goes. I'm still sort of stunned that we have a mate now too. All right, there's a dead elk up there. Aha. Oh my. Hello, ma'am. You really didn't think that through. She walked right up to us. Nice. All right, come on, King. Come on, help us out. Can you do it? Can you do it, King? Let's see how hunting goes with him. I hope he didn't lock on to another elk. No, there he goes. Oh, look at him take off. How strong is he? Let's see, let's see how good his bites are. All right. All right, go, 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 go. It looks like he has good stamina. All right, he's got decent bite strength. I think it's a little bit, it's about equivalent to ours, I think. All right, let's let him slow the elk down for a second. Nice! I feel like Usagi ran, whoa! She ran a lot faster than usual and she didn't get kicked as much, fantastic. All right, I think these two will make a successful pair. They probably need to learn how to hunt together just a teensy bit more. I think we want to try to get their experience up to about 2000 before we end up having uh, the puppies so that we can name everybody appropriately and we can kind of pick from the various dens. I can't remember. It changes from version to version how much experience you need for those things. But we will see if we can run into a cougar to complete Usagi's mission here. And we will go and introduce ourselves to the Amethyst Wolves next time. And if we manage to pull those things off then we will go ahead and move on so that we can get some puppies born before Christmas hopefully so we can have our traditional Christmas litter. I'm really excited that King is part of the family now and I really really cannot wait to hear what your guys ideas might be for how we can do different missions for different wolves and don't worry we will be having um we will be having a certain companion wolf from Spirits Litter come and join us pretty soon. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.